He started from an idea, which was John, George, Paul and Ringo, which was A Hard Day's Night. So the producers, Bert Schneider and Bob Rafelson, and my manager at the time, Ward Sylvester, got together and talked about putting this idea on television. So being a contract player, actually, from the Ed Sullivan days, when I performed on the Ed Sullivan Theatre and saw the Beatles on the same night, I performed on the same night as the Beatles. 1964, I was doing my song and they were singing five, six songs. I saw what was happening. I thought, I want a piece of this action. This is different than having six people stand outside the stage door on 45th Street, you know. So I thought, well, this is interesting because that all comes with the idea when you're young about being a star and being a celebrity. And I'm happy to say, you know, touch wood, I don't think a lot's changed for me. Everything in moderation. So obviously you make more money, but you spend more money. You know, doing what you want to do, you get bigger ideas, and that's where you've got to be careful. You know, you know, you know. A lot of a lot of people that work nine to five change their car every year. You know, after it's got twenty two thousand miles on it, can you believe that? But they do, because it's probably a write off, and they want to keep their value in the car and do the. There's things you'd learn when you start getting a mortgage, and all of a sudden you become a, you know, sort of grown up. That's when things change. You know, you have responsibility, and you can't. You know, you heard the stories about getting rid of the motorbikes and the sports cars and all that kind of stuff. Well, it's not necessary if you'd have budgeted. <laughs> but anyway, the monkeys changed my life amazingly because I, you know, I went home to see my parents and see my sisters and I couldn't because the streets were blocked with kids. And we'd go and do concerts. We'd get out of the aeroplane, which we had our own aeroplane. We had a uh, a Learjet, which had a f six seats, and we had a Falcon jet, and then we bought a plane, which was like a 40-seater, and, you know, you imagine looking down the aisle, and the whole back end was taken out, because we had this place with curtains where we all went and sort of jammed, and the pilot, more often than not, would say, could some people please move up the plane? Because he was flying like that, you see. Because <laughs> we were all in the, in the room at the back. To see Jimi Hendrix and, and Neil Young and uh, Stephen Stills, and to see you know, the Fifth Dimension, and I can Tina Turner, and to see, um, you know, Lulu, and different people sitting on our plane, going to our gig. Yeah. 